Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sureshit Bhatina. I'm an OBGYN working here in Indigo Women's Center in Chennai. And I speak a lot about women's health and reproductive issues. So if that is something that interests you, consider subscribing to my channel. So today we're going to talk about a very important and a very sensitive topic. I'm of course talking about medical termination of pregnancy. It is absolutely crucial to understand the process, the laws in India governing it and the precautions one should take before considering a termination of pregnancy. Now this video is strictly educational and if you're not seeking this information, please leave right now. In India, the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Amendment Act of 2021 has brought about significant number of changes. This act allows women to seek safe abortion services in the case of a contraception failure. And importantly, it has increased the gestational limit to 24 weeks for specific categories of women. This is definitely a step forward in ensuring women's rights to health and reproductive choices. For medical termination, a combination of two tablets are usually used. It is Mifepristone and Misoprostol. In fact, these are the same tablets used in the case of a missed miscarriage. Mifepristone works by blocking the hormone progesterone which is needed for pregnancy to continue. Whereas Misoprostol induces contractions in the womb, expelling the pregnancy. Now it's very crucial to understand why taking these pills without proper medical consultation is dangerous. Firstly, without knowing the gestational period, you risk serious complications. You could have a history of bleeding disorders or even more dangerously, an ectopic pregnancy, which requires immediate medical attention. Additionally, you might also be allergic to these medications as well. The process can also be painful and there can be considerable bleeding as well. It's possible to take a pain reliever like Dolo 650 to reduce the discomfort. However, be aware of the other side effects as well such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea which are also quite common. If you completely soak through 8 pads after taking the medications, it's a sign that you have excessive bleeding and you must seek medical help immediately. Before you proceed with the medical termination of pregnancy, it's also best to undergo certain blood work and an ultrasound. These tests will help ensure the safety and effectiveness of the procedure and identify any potential complications. Many women also worry about how a medical termination of pregnancy might affect their future fertility. The good news is in most cases it doesn't have a long-term impact. However, post-procedural care is absolutely essential. This also includes planning for contraception to avoid unintended pregnancies in the future. Another complication to look out for is the retained products. If these products don't evacuate even after additional doses, you might have to consider dilatation and curettage, which is a surgical procedure to empty the uterine cavity. In conclusion, while the laws in India now support more accessible medical termination of pregnancy, it comes with the responsibility of being well informed. It's absolutely imperative to seek professional medical advice, understand the risks involved and take the necessary precautions. Remember, your health and safety are paramount. Do not try to take any of these medications by yourself without medical guidance because that can lead to serious complications. Thank you all for listening. I hope I have answered all your queries. If you have any more concerns, feel free to reach out to us. We are always here to help. Take care and I will see you in the next one.